Hello. In this video tutorial, I'll try to explain and show you how to install Kindergarten WordPress template on the server. We have shown you how to create, uh, in the first step, how to create MySQL base with user of MySQL base. Uh, it is next step how to install WordPress first and then how to install Kindergarten theme into this WordPress. First of all, uh, for uh, WordPress installation, we need WordPress package, installation package. Uh, for this, please go to the WordPress.org uh, uh, official website, which is here, and click on download WordPress. And download latest version for 9 version of WordPress. Click on it and download. Then, when you download it, we already have it in our computer, you should go again in your host account, find folder, find uh, file manager, and click on it. If you would like to install template uh, in the root of your server, you should do it in public HTML folder here. But in our case, we should install it into the WordPress folder where we have already created kindergarten folder and we want to install it here. Now we should upload WordPress installation package on this place. For this please click upload then select then find WordPress installation package in your computer it must be here WordPress it is. Click open and upload it on the server. Go back. It has been uploaded. Now we should mm, extract this folder. For this please set uh, this file. Please set this file and then click extract. Click extract file, close it and now click reload. Now we do not need this uh, WordPress installation package and we should, we need just a moment, we are here in kindergarten. We should enter into this folder, set all files and directories, and drag and drop it in the kindergarten folder where we want to install template. Now it is here. This folder is empty, we do not need it, and should delete. Now <clears throat> we should use correct address. In your case, it will be your domain name. In our case, it is testdemo.com WordPress and then kindergarten. Click enter and we can start WordPress installation process. Click continue. Then let's go. And now you should use username and password. Uh, first name of your base in our case is it this username is password is mm, I think local host mm. okay. just a moment. So we have used it, everything which needs on this page and now click, we should click submit. Seems I have used it not correct password. Just will try again. 
Yes, everything is okay. Run the installation, we should click. Here should write title of title of mm, site in the garden, for example. Username of your admin area, for example, admin. Password. Email address. And click install WordPress. WordPress has been installed and now we can uh, log in in our admin area. Use username and password and click on login. We are here. Now, second step is uh, install theme into this WordPress. For this, please click on appearance and themes. And then we should uh, click add new, then upload a theme, then choose file and find in your template package folder theme. Into this folder you can find kindergarten theme. Click open and then click install now. Should wait a few seconds. Now you can see process of installing the theme. And now we you should click on activate link. We should activate kindergarten theme. This theme has been activated now. Now uh, we should install plugins. For this, please click plugins, then click add new. Upload plugin, click, then choose file and find in the folder of your installation package folder plugins. We should install all plugins which are here. Askinet, first one. This plugin already installed in standard WordPress. Okay, we should install second one. Click install now. Click then activate plugin. Go to again in add new, then upload plugin and again choose file. Install thir uh, third plugin. We need it. Applicator in case. Then click activate plugin in case if we want to duplicate our site. Again click add new. Then upload plugin, then choose file, install Google Maps plugin, click install now, click activate plugin, should wait, then again click add new and we should install last plugin for our template, reusable text blocks. Click install and click activate plugin. Now it will be better if we update all our plugins to the latest versions. Click update and update. Should wait. Yes, we can check a site now. Uh, site is not installed now correctly, yes, because what we should do the next step, next step is that we should upload uh, database. For this, for this, please go to your hosting account and find PHP My Admin. In your PHP My Admin, you should find your base. Our base name is Kindergarten, and click on it. Then, please go your in your template package and find uh, find database folder. Into this folder, you will see uh, two files: Kindergarten for root. This base needs in case if you 
install your template in the root of your server, I mean, for example, www.yourdomain.com. If you install in the root, you need this space. But we are installing in the testdemo.com, then WordPress, and uh, then folder name is kindergarten. It means we need uh, kindergarten for subfolders, this space. Open it in any text editor. In our case, we will open it in text edit format and click cmdf cmd for find and write your site URL here. You should found, you should find these words. Then click replace and you should replace all these words to your uh, to your site URL address. Uh, in our case it is URL address where we should install template. In our case it is WordPress kindergarten without slash in the end. Do not need slash. In your case here will here will be http uh, um, then www.yourdomain.com in case if you install it in the root but uh, we should install it in the kindergarten folder and then we should replace all this word to this address click all then done and save this file now we can go in the php my admin in the kindergarten base click import choose file find Find database, open it and click go. We should import this base. In our case, it is impossible. For this, we should check all base and click then drop and delete all information in this base. Then again, click kindergarten base and click import. Again, import full base and click go. And wait a few seconds when all base will import it, all information, all data will be imported in our base. Import has been successfully finished. Okay, now we can go Use again username and password. Okay, uh, password is problem. Just we will find VP user. Just we'll find and install the new password. For example, here is password section. We should find first of all MD5. MD5 is here. And write here your new password for admin area. And click go. Now we can log in without any problem in our admin area. Yes. Now we can check what's up with site. Everything is okay. We should only insert images into this, uh, in, into the, uh, on the host account. For this, please go to your uh, host account here and click VP content. We should delete these uploads folder with its file we do not need it it's old and we should upload new one which is in our template package here see package uploads open it click go back then we should set this zip package and click extract 
we can create load uploads folder is here now we should refresh site is everything okay or not as you can see everything is okay everything is here and works fine just will check gallery gallery works fine for parents contact us map is here everything works fine it is easy if you need any further information or help from us please contact us and we will help you at any time thank you bye